I've, so, so far I've traveled for five and a half months. I still have eight more months to go. It's not just about the place, it's actually about the people. You will meet the right people, even sometimes strangers, old friends who will help you. If you really want it bad enough, you, you'll be creative about it, you just follow your heart. If you're really passionate about it, nothing is impossible. I, and I love the adventure, I love the challenge, I love learning new things. Imagine that you would start your world travels tomorrow. What would you take with you? Well, let's see what Don has in his bag. This is my bag I used to travel for a year. So, what's in the travel oh, bag? Sheesh. Okay, <laughs> let's start with the small one. So normally the small one, this is where I bring my sh This is where I put my shoes, so. I only have two pairs of shoes, by the way. This is my hiking shoes. And, and this is my normal day-to-day -day shoes. For hiking one, uh, like these boots, they're like, uh, they have this Vortex technology. So if water gets in, it's like waterproof. And then I have a black shoes, which normally some travelers don't bring. But I do have reasons why I need black shoes. First, to party, you also want to look nice sometimes. So you know, in the disco bar, you don't want to be wearing some uh, hiking shoes. And there are some occasions that, you know, who knows? You might just get invited to some formal events. I, so that's really just two pairs of shoes. And other than that, just another footwear would be your flip-flops. Now, the trick about traveling is pack as light as you can. Really, because you don't really want to like be carrying heavy stuff around. So what do I have here in this stuff? I have a jacket. This is a jacket, by the way, that you can fold so that you can wear it. And if you don't need it, you can fold it and wear it. So yeah, I used my winter jacket before, but it was really heavy in my bag. So this is a very lightweight jacket, mm -hmm. meaning it's packable. Yeah. See? It's a jacket. Where's your winter jacket? I already shipped it back to Australia. So you're shipping some of the stuff uh, back to Australia to yes. keep the weight down? Yes. If not shipping, I actually give them away. Or mm. lend them to some traveler friends who I might meet sometime in the future. But if I don't meet them, it's a gift. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and this one is particularly nice because it has this thing that gives you additional heat thing. I have these things for carrying clipping on the bags. This is just as a shoulder bag if you oh, need to oh yeah, put them yeah, on your shoulders yeah. like my laptop bag and this one for a dry sack bag if you need to. And I have a sleeping bag here. This is uh, the silk side of the sleeping bag. So this is like a travel liner. So, so this is your roll uh, sleeping bag? No, uh, no, no. <laughs> uh, I don't normally use a sleeping bag. So example, if you need to borrow a sleeping bag, at least you can use this. Ah, so the in inside. Yeah, of, uh, or if you're in a hostel and if you feel that you know the linen is not too clean, uh -huh. you can use your own personal silk if you want. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, uh, lining. All right, so this one is just your toiletries. So yeah, it's just the normal toiletries that you would normally have. So, mm -hmm. and this is something I really need to dispose very soon. This is my <laughs> business cards. That, uh, that people gave to me in previous trips. Uh, the, the value of this is all of my networks are here, are people, my friends. So I, I didn't have time to actually write down, you know, where people live, where they are. Like, these are like paper and this is really a big clutter right now for me. I need to sort this out, throw the other necessary stuff or find a way to put them digital. As you can see, there's a substantial amount of paper, maps, brochures, that are still lying here that could have been thrown away but I don't throw them away because I haven't processed them yet and I'm such a clutter person so this is like brochures from all the trips New York guide you know these are usually and you know I really need to sort them out because they paper and those British Bruce brochures they add weight and again you don't want to get weight in your bag see what do you use for navigation? Uh, uh, do you use the ordinary paper maps or oh, no. a GPS on the phone or? Uh, what I do is I would, for map, some, it's a combination. Sometimes 
I using my phone if I get the Wi-Fi free Wi-Fi I Google the map and then I get a screenshot of the place mm -hmm. or if I'm in a local place I go to the tourist area and just ask for a local map if you're in a hostel just ask for a local map they mm -hmm. give you a local map most of the time in my travel I've used a paper I've got from the hostel I went and this one I have a pack here of and these are like my electronics or whatever non clothes stuff so you know like I told you about the yeah uh, I told you about the security wire. So this is the wire I would use to t secure. Like yeah, not the laptop, but more the bag to tie it to something that's more stable. I've got like this. Uh, this is more for drying clothes. So you have like something to dry with. Ah, so I so we put it in the hostel it, room. And the yeah, room. and then you mm -hmm. can dry your clothes there. And uh, you have your chargers. Uh, important stuff for charging are really the I'll tell you a bit uh, and you have your mug lights for when you're in the caves or jungle uh, this was a cheap phone I bought in the US $13 phone by the way which I think I'm gonna throw away because I don't need it anymore yeah just you know the, the electronic stuff does this bag actually fit into the uh, airplane compartment no no so you actually have to check in this big bag the mm. only thing you bring is the small bag. Okay. I mean, this bag would currently weighs like 18 kilos. Mm -hmm. Actually, before I hit, I arrived in New York, it was 23 kilos already. It was hitting the the limit. I mean, limit mm -hmm. would normally be around 22 or 23. Yeah, it's now 18 kilos. My goal is to still lessen this up to 13 kilos or even up to 11. Mm -hmm. The lighter, the better. So that's this piece, and then you've got the big piece, which is really mainly clothes mm -hmm. and books. Oh. That's it. Uh, I do carry a book with me, and that's really just one book because it's a Lonely Planet book because it is called The Big Trip, and it tells me some suggestions of some interesting places to go around the world. But to be honest, I have actually haven't read the entire book. I'm actually just here. Look. <laughs> Which just tells you that you don't really need a book sometimes. You just scan it and say, okay. I, I'm a picture person. If I, I like pictures in a book. And here's my journal. My journal that is supposed to document everything that I'm doing every day. It's a good thing about this journal, it has a daily thing like what day it is. So I'm supposed to write like on this date, I've done this thing, right? Mm -hmm. For clothes, these are the things I would suggest. Uh, just to be sure that you are protected against cold weather and it's all about layering right so minimum you need thermals thermals and then after the thermal you need a fleece so a thermal then a fleece and then after a fleece you need a uh, like a wind windbreaker jacket like this one what I'm wearing right now and of course you can alternate and if you're still in cold you can use a jacket on top of it or you can replace the this one with the jacket so at least now I have a raincoat a jacket and a windbreaker right so you have some options now cap towel you can live with this some places they give you towel this is a very nice start it's a micro what do you call it so it dries like faster it dries fast microfiber towel and it's very, very light compact very though. light uh, this was a gift to me by a friend from New York it's a it's a handkerchief but it's actually the map of New York <laughs> see <laughs> Save the map. It's a map of New York. Very anyway, <laughs> you can miss great as that. And pants, I just need one pair of jeans, one jogging pants, one cargo pants. Actually, two cargo pants. This one's the lobby. Uh, yeah, that's it. And one for the um, what do you call it? thermals. Shorts. I have a board shorts for swimming, which you will use a lot, and you will also use. Uh, yeah, you can also wear swimming trunks as well, like the trunks trunks mm -hmm. and uh, Beanies and shirts like t-shirts some advice I would have for travelers Don't bring white clothes So I don't have any white clothes as you can see because in doing laundry Most of them, you know when you put your laundry in hostels don't they mix the white with the colors and you'll end up your white shirt becomes pink or red or whatever blue color so never ever like i had a white pair of boxer shorts it's now pink <laughs> <laughs> 
so don't do that. I used to have shirts with prints, uh, like, you know, a design, a brand, something. The thing with that, it's okay, but like this one, United Nations, or I, have, I have two favorite shirts of mine. This one is, says 365 days of, of my, life. my life. It's my, one of my favorite t-shirts. I saw this in a shop, I bought it because I knew it. And the other one is a shirt by Lonely Planet. So that, you know, it's cool to be traveling with a Lonely Planet t-shirt. The rest, I need to make it as generic as I can. What I mean by generic, plain color, no print, nothing. Mm -hmm. Plain black, plain black with a very minor design like this line, Look, just for a bit of fashion, but it's still black. And I even have like one that's plain green. Why is it important? I can reuse it and people won't notice that I'm reusing the same shirt. It's so generic, mm -hmm. right? And it doesn't look like you're wearing the same shirt every time. Because one time I was wearing all my printed shirt and my sister said, oh, you're wearing the same shirt all over again in your pictures. You've never changed. So with that one, it doesn't look obvious. This is my favorite shirt. So every city where I can, I buy a patch. This is my souvenir. I buy a patch of the city. I bought a plain shirt when I was in Bolivia. And then I had those patches sewn into the shirt. So what I have now is a collection of patches of all the travels I have around the world with the flags here, here, so I expect by the end of this trip, this shirt should be filled with flags or patches and designs and memorable places. That's it folks, that's the life of a traveler. So, you know, time of a traveler is too short, every day. So I'll see you, I'm going to change now. Bye-bye. Ships are safe in harbor, but it's not what ships are made for. Go for your dream.